Shalom, Yashra. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Parash, the bonus of the apostles, and others of Great Millstone, who were well and who taught us the truth, and salutations to the Akim, pushing us for in truth and in sincerity with charity. Alright, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee, and am and am not I breathed with those that rise up against thee? All right, so this is King David saying this, you know. This is verse 22. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. All right. So, and, and, and you know, King David, all right, he has a, a mind after the most highest mind. All right, he, he, you know, he thinks the same way the Heavenly Father Yahweh does, you know, who you refer to as the Almighty or God, all right? Because God is not all love. He's a, he's a perfect balance. His name is Yahweh, all right? And he's a perfect balance. He creates the evil and the good. He kills and he makes alive. You see, he's the one that does everything. There's only one power, one, one God. You see, it's the God of the Israelites. You know, begin with the Heavenly Father, the Almighty Yahweh, all right, which his name means he is, he exists, and some he is all. Um, Baha Shem is in the name, this is all in the ancient Hebrew or Paleo, Paleo Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is his only begotten son, all right, who the world only refers to as JC. And both are so called, you know, dark skinned men, all right, so called black looking men, all right, but they're Hebrew Israelites, the father and the son. All right, with white woolly hair. All right. And, and he hates, he loves and he hates. Okay. And he counts uh, all the other nations. He created nations of people. Okay. 18 nations specifically. All right. And he chose one out of those 18 families is the, the children of Israel. Okay. Which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians today. According to the curses that are in the Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and in other places too. But like that's like the main uh, list of curses that would fall upon us because we were given the laws, the statutes and the commandments. So if we broke those laws, statutes and commandments, all these curses would fall upon us. You, know, you, could, you could read that in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Okay. And that's why we're at the bottom. You know, but this is the last captivity, you know, when you read in Daniel about Nebuchadnezzar's dream, his vision, all right, that tall statue, there was a, 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 a the Lord was, you know, basically explaining that there's four, uh, there's kingdoms, there's four, these four kingdoms that are going to rule, all right, specifically on the earth, and then, the, the, and then the end shall come, you know, and right now we're at the toes, where Esau Edom is, is a so-called white man, he's the last uh, heathen to rule. This is the, the time of the Gentiles coming to an end. It ends with Esau Edom, all right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You know, our kingdom is next, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, all right, which is the kingdom of the Israelites. Hey, that's coming after Esau's kingdom uh, is taken down. You see, this is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, Chapter 27, verse 24. I have hated many things, but nothing like him, for the Lord Yahweh will hate him. You see? And, and, and the Lord, he hates Edomites. All right? The Heavenly Father Yahweh, he hates Edomites, so called white people. All right? And there's, a, a, you know, Edomite tares too. So, you know, we're, we're, you know it's not, not every white per so called white person or Caucasian is an Edomite. All right. Remember that the nation of Israel were a speckled bird. All right, and and especially the, the northern tribes too uh, um, is a cake that were a cake unturned. You know, a cake not turned. So we come in all different shades, and we're gonna you know look like all the other nations. We've been scattered among all the nations. All right, you know, among the four corners of the earth, we're, we're you know Israel scattered everywhere, but collectively. The majority will be found here in Babylon the Great, where the scripture says we will be oppressed together. All right. That's how you know those curses fit us, man. You see? And, and the Bible's our book, you know, it's the history of the world right here. And it's telling you, and the, you know, there's the mind of the Lord right here where he's telling you the Lord hates Edomites, man. 
right? No matter how they look, but you know, for the most part, they look like so-called white people. You know, their their flesh uh, or their blood shows through their flesh. You know, that's that curse of leprosy. And the Most High hates Esau Edom, man. All right. This is a uh, uh, Malachi chapter one, verse one. The burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. It's not mentioning any other people. It's not mentioning the whole world. Okay. Verse two. I have loved you, saith Yahweh. Yet ye say, Wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord Yahweh. Yet I ha I loved Jacob. You see. So you got to know the, the history, man, to understand the mystery, right? So who's Esau and Jacob? You know what I'm saying? When you're reading this, you got to know about Genesis, the 25th chapter. All right. Where two nations were in uh, Rebecca's womb. You know, she was having twins and two manner of people will be separated from her bowels. All right. And one people will be stronger than the other. So we're the stronger people, the Israelites. All right. Israel means he, prince, power. All right, we, we are the princes of the power, man. We ourselves are gods, right? But right now we're in these chains of darkness, you see? But our, you know, our time is going to come very soon where we, we change, man. All right? But nonetheless, um, but Esau came out, he came out first. It said the elder shall, be, shall serve the younger. He came out all red like a hairy garment, meaning... He came out of that. Uh, he came out as the first born so-called white person on earth was Esau Edom, in Genesis twenty-five. All right, he bare the 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 curse of Cain. All right, it's basically Cain reincarnated, and reincarnation is in the Bible. Okay, so you have to understand that to understand these mysteries too. Okay, but this is where it was not Esau Jacob's brother saith Yahweh. Yet I I love Jacob and I hated Esau. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Verse 4, whereas Edom, all right, Edom is, is also Esau. Okay, Edom is Esau. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts of armies, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. So, so the Esau, Esau, Edom, the Edomites, so-called white people. Are called the border of wickedness, and the people against, all right, against whom Yahweh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, have indignation forever. He has a righteous anger with these Edomites. All right, they are the one nation of people. Brothers, eighteen. They they are the one nation of people that will get that will get no mercy. Okay, when the Lord is through with them. All right, they're not going to get no mercy. Meaning they're not going to uh, um, have, uh, what's the word? It's um, all resurrection to life. Yes, it's in the Apocrypha. They have no resurrection to life, all right, after they do their time, all right, after they do a thousand years of hardcore slavery under us and build up our kingdom, you see? And then the Lord's going to get rid of them. There shall be none remaining from his house. That's talking about some hate right there, you know what I'm saying? That's in the Bible, man. Again, Sirach 27 and 24, I have hated many things, but nothing like him for Yahweh will hate him. Hate him so much to exterminate his whole line. Women, children, all right, men. There's, after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, the Lord's going to exterminate the Edomites. They, they, they try to do it to us. They say, race it, race it. Even until the foundation thereof. They wanted us all gone. They still do right now. They have a perpetual hatred towards us. You know, Ezekiel 35 and 5. And that's why these Christians, they don't know and understand these things, man. The Lord loves and he hates. All right. And guess what? He chose the nation of Israel again, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, and the speckled birds. Because we're going to have Israelites looking like the other nations. Hey, he chose us. We are his children, his people. All right. We love him because he first loved us, man. He chose us. He, he said, this is my portion right here. You know? And he hates Esau, man. Esau's not going to get no mercy. You see, after a thousand years, because all the other nations, the other 17 nations, all right, the, 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 you know, what nation has not had, had a, a part of her? All these other nations had us in captivity, all right, throughout history. 
You see, and it's in, it's found in the Bible too. It's in the scriptures. All right. Because the Bible's the history of the world. Hey, they're all going into slavery when Yahweh returns. All right. And after a thousand years, the Lord's going to have mercy on these other nations. He's going to allow them to have their own lands and, and go to them. And they are all going to follow the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. All right. In the flesh. So when they go off, you know, we're going to pass righteous judgment. And they're going to be happy too. All right. Because it's not, it's not going to be what it is, what, what you see today. The wicked are in rule. Right now, that's why the people mourn, man. But when the righteous rule, hey, the people rejoice. You see, and that time is coming. All right? And then the Lord's going to get rid of Esau, Edom, the one he hates, man. All right? And and this is the Lord showing the Lord's power because he's he, he gave Esau this power. Esau's the basis of all men. All right? But the Lord is showing his power through this, you know, Edomite, these Edomites hardening their hearts, you know, and, and you know, just setting them up, setting them up. All right, but this is Job nine twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So, uh, again, we read in Malachi one and four that Esau Edom is the border of wickedness. You see, when you read Daniel four and seventeen, the Lord He sets up whoever He wants. All right, to rule, and He set up Esau Edom for these last days, man. All right, the earth is given into their hand. All right, that's why they have control of the whole thing. All right, this is um, and, and that's just you know, the, the Lord's showing His power through all this as well. Yeah, we have to recognize that. You see, because everyone is at all with with Esau. I'm like, oh wow, you know what I mean? He's in power. He's in rulership. You know, people are trying to like. You know, especially Jake, they trim their, their ways to seek love through this devil, you know. But it's all of the Lord, man. You see? This is um, because we're talking about hate and, and love, you know, because the Lord said it here too. This is uh, Romans chapter 9. And you actually will start up. Yeah, because, you know, two-thirds, hey, they're not going to make it. Two-thirds of our own people, blacks, Hispanics, Native American, Indians, but two-thirds of America, uh, uh, two-thirds of our people here in America are not going to make it, all right? They love Esau. They love their oppression, all right? They love their oppressor, you see? So the Lord's not even counting them as his people, all right? He wants uh, the, the true worship, worshipers that are going to uh, worship him in spirit and in truth, you see? They're going to, they, they seek his face, all right? They acknowledge their sins, you know? And that's not all Israel today. Not all Israel is Israel. It, it, it gets into it, but since you know, I mentioned it, let's start up here. Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word of Yahweh had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. All right, I'm not talking about the, the small caps, whether that's Amalek. All right, Amalek is the head tribe of the nation of Edom, all right, with the curly fry hair and all that, you know what I'm saying? Those are imposters that are in our land right now, you see? But verse 7, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, you see? You read that in Second Ezra, the sixth, uh, sixth chapter, you know, I think uh, starting at verse 54 on down, all right? Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So there's a chosen lineage right here. All right. You know, uh, it's all about th that one special seed. You know, it says in Isaac shall thy seed be called in Isaac. All right. You know, he, we know that he put away Ishmael by right, the Arabs. All right, they're not the the, the 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 children of the promise or the seed of the promise. All right, so after that, what came next? It was uh, uh, Esau and Jacob. Okay, and it, and it was written and it, it was said uh, and written that the elder shall serve the younger. All right, back in that Genesis twenty-five. All right, but this is. Um, Verse 7, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. All right, these are not the children of Yahweh. okay? 
but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Okay. And in verse nine, it says, for this is the word of promise. At that time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. You know, this is Abraham's wife, Sarah. Okay. Not only this, but when we're, uh, when, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father, Isaac. All right. So it goes from Abraham to Isaac. Okay. And then to Jacob, Jacob's the, the promised lineage of the, the, uh, the children of the promise, the seed of the promise. Okay. Uh, verse 10. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father, Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. So this is all the will of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. The Lord said, I would do all my pleasure. His, he said that his word would not go back void onto him, but it will accomplish everything that he pleases. All right. There, there's no such thing as free will. All right. The Lord is in control of everything. All right. Man's goings are of the Lord. You know, how can a man understand his own way? You see. But us, uh, 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 the the prophets, the hopeful elect, hey, we, we understand you how about Shemel All right. And, and that's why two thirds can't get it. Christians can't get it, man. All right. And all these other people, they just can't get it. You see, the Lord's doing all this, all right, to magnify his name at the end of it. All right. You're going to know who the power of the Israelites is, man. It's Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Chakwadash. Okay. But this is verse 11 for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to election might stand. Not of works, but of him that calleth. You see, this is all the will of the Lord right here, the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. You see, the prophets in the New Testament were, were uh, quoting the prophets in, in the Old Testament, man. And actually coming back, because, we, you know, reincarnation, we're back in our lot, you know. The spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. Those that practice in her shall, you know, the, the truth. The birds were resort unto the like, so so with those uh, those that you know practice in here shall let me just get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like doing that. Hold on one second. This is a Sirach 27 and 9. And it reads, The birds will resort unto their like, so will truth return unto them that practice in her. Alright, so we we're back in our lot, you see. This is back in Romans 9. And 11 again, for the children being not yet born, having neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. All right. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. And as it is written, here's verse 13 again, this is uh, quoting Malachi. Okay. As it, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see? So when you read Genesis 25, you see that Esau came out first. All right, he came out all red. He he's the so-called white man today. You see, and he has a perpetual hatred towards us. That's why he's always lynching, you know, Jake, shooting him down in the streets, and you know, you know they're not in trouble like other men. You see, so they get off these these crimes. All right, it's just not their time to be punished. When the Lord returns, believe me, that's going to be the time. All right. The Lord's going to, Yahweh Shai is going to take out his whole kingdom worldwide in one hour, man. He's going to, America's going to get nuked with fire. You see? So much he hates this place. But he's going to save his elect out of it, man. All right. But this is verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So that it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that showeth mercy. You see? For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. You see? Because right now, hey, the, the, the Lord's not getting his glory right now. He's not getting, you know, his props. You see, 
know, he's getting it only with the elect, a remnant, all right? You know what I'm saying? Because right now, this, this kingdom right now is Esau's kingdom, you know? And we have no fellowship with this place, you know what I'm saying? We can't wait for this place to end, all right? This is verse 18. But yeah, I'm sorry, in verse 17 it says that, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth, you know? So the Lord's name is going to be magnified. Because when the Lord delivered us out of Egypt, you know, the nations knew. You know what I'm saying? They, they heard about how uh, the Lord delivered us, man. You know what I'm saying? And this one's going to outshine that one, all right? And the whole globe's going to know, man. And, we, and guess what? The nation of Israel, our people... Hey, we're never going to sit again. We're going to be changed. We're going to get new bodies. We're going to get these laws, statutes, and commandments written in our hearts. In us, our children, our children's children. And we're never going to die again. We're not going to be oppressed. All right? It's going to be li literally heaven for us, man. Because heaven and hell are conditions. You know what I'm saying? Hell would be the grave. You know what I'm saying? Or a living condition, man. We're in hell. We're at the bottom right now being oppressed. You see? So, hey, but our time is coming, man, a time of trading places. When we're back on top, you know, and we're going to stay on top, man, because the kingdom of Yahweh Shai is one with no end. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. On to the